The agency sales process is simple. You send a cold email to somebody you've never met, you book a meeting. On that meeting, it's called the discovery call. You ask a bunch of questions. Then if they don't wanna close right then, you go on to call number two where you discuss the contract or the proposal. Then you close the deal and send them over to the team, two week kickoff, and then the team will start working. It sounds simple and it is. And if more people went through the process that we teach in Email 10K, they would have six figure, seven figure agencies. There's no secret here. It really is just having it outlined step by step and being willing to follow the process. Now, in today's video, I wanna give you something for free, which is the discovery call questions we ask on that call number one. You can grab that by hitting the button below. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. Now, why is this important? Well, I used to be a proponent of like the spin selling method or any of these sort of sales methods. I, I actually started in cold calling. When I first moved out to New York, I was working for a software as a startup company that had to cold call people. I had to cold call people constantly and try to get them to sign up for our platform so that we could sell their services to other people. And that cold call script was statement after statement after statement, or a question where you're wanting a yes, you build up the yeses to close the deal. And what I found is that might be okay, I mean, it did fine, but what works a lot better, especially when you start wanting to sell six and seven figure deals, like we've sold, and I've sold at the agencies that I've worked at in the past and my current agency, X27, when you get into that area, you really need to stop selling according to a script and you need to start selling like a doctor diagnosing a patient. What does that mean? Well, let me use this example. Let's say you walk into a medical office and the doctor comes in and is like, you have cancer, I know it. You would be like, what are you talking about, doc? You would instead want the doctor to be like, have you had any pain recently? How's your diet? You know, I have the doctor ask you some questions before he just comes in with a diagnosis right away. But that's what a lot of marketing agencies are doing. You come in and you're like, man, I know your leads are terrible. Your website sucks. Obviously you're hurting as a business. But what happens if you do that is most of the time, the founder's like, no, we're not. Our website's actually converting great and our business is doing awesome. And so if you open with that frame of, you guys suck and I know the solution, without asking any questions before, you're not gonna be able to close the deal 99% of the time. And the people that you do close deals, their businesses really are in that rough of a shape that they're not gonna be able to pay you any money. That's why I always say go after the golden geese companies. So companies between five million and $150 million in revenue because they have the money to afford you and fewer decision makers, fewer people that can turn you down on the path to closing the deal. But the thing to know about these golden geese companies is these are not hair on fire clients that are gonna bother you all the time and whose businesses are falling apart. They've gotten from $5 million to 150 million. They're, they're making money in between that range. So they're over those initial humps that any sort of low level marketing consultant would be able to fix with a better social media profile. So how do you actually find that key problem or key series of problems that you can actually help with? It comes down to a solid, discovery process. What are you gonna say on these calls to actually get the information you need in order to get the deal done and to actually help these businesses? That's what I wanna go through today. Let's talk about this discovery call script. We'll go over to the computer and I'll show it to you. Again, if you want it for free, check out the download below. Here we go, here are the discovery call structure and questions. Remember, you can get these down below. Just go ahead and download them. So you're gonna start with your introductions. Typically, these are not like, hi, I'm Alex Berman, who are you? This is more like, hey, glad that we could hop on this call together. And then they'll say something. You're not really giving your first names. This is the age of the internet. You know who you're talking to. You have it on the LinkedIn, you know, like you kind of know what's going on. And that actually speaks to what you should be doing before these calls, which is do at least five, six minutes of research. If not 20, 30 minutes listening to podcast interviews, like getting super deep with these people before you even meet them. There's no reason you should have to ask your client for their backstory. You could ask them for their backstory, but it should only be as confirmation of something you already know. So you could say something like, hey, I'm Alex. Is now still a good time to chat? And then you go into the short value proposition after they answer, 
And I don't even have the value prop here. So maybe you guys are getting so much value, you don't even know what's happening right here. So operating officer of experiment 27, we help digital agencies book meetings with the world's largest brands. That's it. I say less than one minute, but it could even be one sentence. So, hey, I'm Alex, it's now a good time to chat. They say something and then I'm like, great. Just a little background on me. I'm the operating officer at Experiment 27, where we help digital agencies book meetings with the world's largest brands. They say something, you say something, you go back and forth. By the way, we're already improving this doc. Check this out, this is great. That's why we're doing these update videos. It's not just because our SEO consultant says that more modern videos get more modern clicks. In fact, nobody's ever said that to me. I just made it up right now. No, we're doing it because there's a lot of stuff that we've learned over the course of running these seven figure agencies that I wanna put into these type of documents. So here we go. Then you jump into the discovery question. So can you tell me about your organization and your role within the company? You might even wanna change this or you run the marketing for Acme Inc, right? You run the marketing for Tyson, right? Yes. Can you tell me more about that? So this is just another alternative version of this if you wanna be a little less stodgy here. What's your main value proposition? Who are your customers? What type of product or service do you offer? What work do you personally oversee? Who are the other main players in your company that drive strategy and growth? So you don't have to read these word for word, but this is kind of what you're driving towards. So discovery questions, you're talking about this. You're like, what's your main value proposition? Why do people buy from you? What type of products or services do you offer? You should know this one, but it's also good to get them to say what they offer because it might be something different. You might think they're an ads agency, but they really are a social media agency and their website just does a bad job of communicating that. So you want them to say what they offer. What work do you personally oversee? Who are the other main players in your company that drive strategy and growth? What areas of growth are you focusing on? Tell me how you get some of your best opportunities now. So this is more with uh, marketing or lead gen type of sales. You would ask something like this. Where do they come from? What stage are they in? What do your best prospects customers have in common? Uh, what is it? Website development specific. Tell me about your app website idea. And then you'd say something like, what value does this add? to your customers. What stage are they in? Still works for development. What stage are they in when it comes to building the thing? What do the end buyers of this app website have in common? When it comes to design or it comes to development, you might wanna ask, do you have the screens thought out? Stuff like that. Just remember that that is what all of the people on Upwork or the random spammers are asking. They're like, hey, you have an app, let me order take and figure this out. But if you come in and you ask from a business point of view what they're actually looking for, you'll be able to construct a much better, more useful app for them and you'll be able to charge a lot more for it. And then for sales lead gen, it's the same thing. What areas of growth are you focusing on? Tell me about how you get some of your best opportunities. Now, where are they coming from? What stage are they in? What are your best prospects customers have in common? So when you reached out to us, can you tell me what came to your mind about how we might be able to work with you? And then you've got your value proposition, which would be something like, from what I'm hearing, you're looking to build an Uber for dog walkers because you think that will 10X the growth of your company, correct? We've built seven apps like this in the past, including one that has been ranked in the top 10 of the app store. So we'd be very qualified to take this on. Something like that. And you could change this, like I'm just making stuff up here. You would talk about your own case studies. If you're having issues getting case studies, join email 10K, it shows you how to get case studies from other agencies in about 45 to 60 seconds. I actually have me calling agencies in the, uh, in the course. So check that out, email10k.com. So from what I'm hearing and thinking, I think we might be a good fit to potentially work together. If you agree, then I'd suggest we share with you some examples of how we've helped companies similar to yours. Does that sound good? Then here you go. Now you've got the close, which I don't think I'm gonna change too much. Okay, so let's do this. 
I'm gonna put together some materials that I'd like to share and review with you. Or two, I'd like to work through a marketing overview strategy with you that we can both agree on. This is like a screen sharing meeting where we discuss our tactics and get your input questions about each of them so we can come out of it with a specific plan. This way we'll both know exactly how we can potentially work together. Does this sound good? Okay, very good. So let's book some time together to do that. How's this sound? And the reason why you're asking on the meeting is you want to secure that second meeting while you're on the first meeting. If you end up in the inbox going back and forth, it's just gonna take forever and the deal might go away. And actually, I would even schedule this meeting a couple days after the first meeting. You don't need to go crazy with these long sales cycles. There's no reason you should stretch it out. You could even say, hey, let's meet tomorrow or even let's meet later this afternoon and then let the client push back and let the client set the pace there. You wanna go as fast as possible and let the client slow you down. You never wanna be the one slowing down the deal. And I will likely bring in you know, your CEO or whoever to this meeting from X27, who should be in the meeting for your company. You might even say, I wanna make sure everyone is together in the room so we can make something happen that day. Then they say something, okay, I'll send an invite now. Any other questions for now? And so I would actually say, all right, thanks for your time. I'll talk to you next week. And that's it. So that's the doc. You can see we have the questions now for lead gen and marketing and for design and development. So we've separated it out. You can grab that down below and there you go, dude. Here you go for free. Most people would charge you $500 for this. Don't do that. Go with my thing. And then if you want to pay us, you want a very comprehensive course, jump in email 10K because it actually shows you how to grow your agency. And this is in there, but just one little sliver, one little part. So if you could imagine what we're giving away for free, the stuff on the paid side is that much better. This video is brought to you by email 10K. So you don't have a business idea, huh? Do you want to know what the best business to start is regardless of market conditions? Check out the free presentation at email10k.com. We have over 200 students that are crushing it using this business strategy, even during this time. So check that out, email10k.com. Thanks for watching the video. Is there anything about this discovery call process that you'd change? Let me know, or what did you think about this video in general? Would love to get the comments going. Smash that like button to encourage this type of content. Download the free download. If you want it, subscribe for more content like this. We do videos three times a week all about sales, entrepreneurship, tutorials, and sometimes free downloads like this. So thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.